A few months ago, I set out to build my own custom desk from scratch. After using it for a while, I've made new upgrades to it to help me do all kinds of creative work. Hello, I'm Matthew and Sina, and in this video, I'll share the various configurations of my custom-made transforming desk and how I use it. Before I begin, I want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. This is the first episode of a multi-part office update series, so stay tuned till the end to get a preview of what's to come. Before I get into my desk configurations, I want to briefly share the major updates I made since I originally built it. First, I added a low-profile adjustable monitor mounted to the wall that can move up and down with my desk. I used a cable channel to keep my connections visually clean and organized. Next to that is a pegboard to hold my most used tools for measuring and drafting projects. I've also added a few decorative items here to personalize and style the space. Below the desk is a storage chest, which I added caster wheels to for mobility. This holds my oversized gear like tripods, light stands, and miscellaneous production equipment. Now that you're caught up to speed with the updates, I'll share the different configurations of this setup. The primary use for this desk is to serve as a secondary workstation for me. I mostly like to stand and sketch ideas here. This change of scenery and posture helps me mix things up and work through challenges on my projects. When I want to sit down, I roll my storage chest off to the side, lower my desk and monitor, then roll up my chair. I set my MacBook Pro into this minimal stand and use a single cable from this hub to connect it to my monitor, speakers, and external power. The hub is hidden mounted to the back of my desk using 3M command strips, and the USB-C cable that connects to my laptop is held in place by a cable organizer, which is also mounted here on the edge. For my peripherals, I went for a white and wood look to match the visual theme of this corner. I'm using an Apple keyboard in a Grovemade maple tray and this Logitech super light mouse. These sit on top of a beautiful gray felt mat also from Grovemade. All of these together make for a solid desk setup for me to work at. Another way I use this workspace is for overhead shooting. In this configuration, I mount my camera to my shelf using a super clamp and ball head. Despite its small size, it's sturdy enough to hold the weight of the camera and the lens. In most cases, my flip out screen works well for me to see what I'm doing. But if I need an extra monitor, I simply connect an HDMI cable from my camera to the monitor right in front of me for easy viewing. The Philips Hue lights mounted overhead usually provide enough light for me to get proper exposure even at night. This setup is great for unboxing shots or for any type of flat shots I need to capture. The next configuration I use this setup for is my favorite one. When I'm done with work and I want to spend some time with music, my entire desk turns into a DJ booth. I clear my desktop by simply using my felt mat to slide my peripherals off my desk and onto the storage below. I raise my desk to my safe preferred height and open my desk lid to access my DJ gear. To hold my laptop, I made a custom shelf using a French cleat system which can lock when in use and be put away when closed. A word of caution here, the build of this shelf isn't as secure as I'd like it to be. In the future, I'll have to redesign this to be more sturdy, so feel free to leave me a comment if you have an idea for how to build this better. I love spending hours here, mixing music, and getting lost in some tunes. My workspace is something that's constantly evolving as my career as a creative develops. How and what I work on changes as I move further along on my journey as a content creator. Because of that, I'm constantly learning, trying to improve my craft. A great place to do that is Skillshare, the sponsor of this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. From creativity to productivity, you'll find tons of classes to develop new skills and explore your passions. There are no ads on the platform, so you can focus on learning distraction-free. 
Lately, I've been taking a course from a content creator I really admire, Marquez Brown Lee. His course, YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit with MKBHD, is an overview of his video creation process. He has some great tips on planning and researching your topics, so you know what to make your content about. Marquez focuses on the audience's curiosities and creates content that satisfies the questions in their minds. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so you can explore your own creativity. Thank you Skillshare and to you for supporting this channel. Because you've stuck around to the end of the video, as promised, here's a glimpse of what's to come on this channel. The next videos will cover the update of my main desk setup, some more DIY builds, and a few key tech upgrades I've been making to my home office. There will be some big changes here with lots of small details I'm excited to share with you. If you're interested in following along, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content drops. If you have any questions, ask and I'll do my best to answer them. And don't forget to check out the links in the description for more details on everything you've seen in this video. With that out of the way, it's time to get back to work.